Well, the, the early days of Saxon aren't really Saxon. They're, they're based in a, a three-piece band. Me and, me and the other guitarists in Saxon were in Cork Coast, and we were a bit of a sort of uh, improvisational, jammy, prog rocky type band, a bit like a prog rock cream. So, you know, we'd, uh, we'd just go off into these huge improvisational sections. Uh, so that's really how it all started. And, uh, you know, this area where we're filming today is the area where we used to do that, uh, Yorkshire. So, um, yeah, that's the early days of that. And then we sort of, you know, guys came along, guys left, we got different members. And then we joined together with two other guys and um, we formed a band called Son of a Bitch, which was the original sort of in incarnation of Saxon. Uh, and that drummer, that drummer left. And then we got a guy called Pete Gill in and that was the original early Saxon. We didn't really change our name till 79, first album. So, you know, uh, next year is our, or 2014 is our 35th anniversary year uh, of that first album. Right. Yeah, actually, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it was our last album with the, the French label Crusader. Yeah, it's the first time we worked with Paul. You know, we talked about the song and um, what it was about. You know, what I thought it might be good to to you know, to do something with uh, nights. Uh, you know, because basically the song is from a young boy's point of view, watching, uh, you know, the soldiers and the knights of the army going off to war and wanting to go with them. That's basically what the song is. Um, so, you know, that, that's what he took away, and um, he came back with the, with the Crusader um, painting. I mean, I got a phone call saying you have to come and look at it. It's nearly finished. And, uh, you know, and I expected to see something like, you know, about... A, a foot, something like this, you know, an album cover size, and uh, walked in the studio, and um, you know it was huge. It's like you know, it must be nearly two meters wide by a meter deep, and uh, hung on this uh, you know easel thing, and uh, it was absolutely unbelievable to see it, an oil painting, and uh, we, it was a wrap around sleeve, um, you know. So I think we talked about where where it should go over the sleeve, and. Um, you know, we, he painted in the, the, the warriors under the rock there. Yeah, this, I mean, this is the main, the main picture, obviously. And as it wraps around, you know, there's, there's a battle going on here. And um, on the original, there's a guy laid here as well, but you can't see that on this. Uh, but this rock was painted in uh, later, not later, but a few, few days later uh, for the back, so we could have room for the credits here. So in them days, it was all about finding room for the credits and sort of finding the place for our logo. And um, it's a very small crusader, because obviously there's no room for it anywhere else. But I quite like the way that, you know, and, and the, you know, the light, the light, where the light's coming on, is always fantastic with Paul, you know, where it's, the sun is at any particular time. But it's a great cover, and, uh, you know, we use sections of it um, for T-shirts, which is great, you know, and, um, and I have the original. Uh, he phoned me up one day and said, you have to come and fetch it, I've got no room for it. Uh, you can have it if you come and pick it up. So I rented a trailer and went and fetched it the same day. I, I love Crusader. I think, you know, that, that's been voted best metal cover in a lot of countries around the world over the years. But I just love Crusader because it's, um, it's um, you know, the artwork goes with the name of the band. It goes with the song. And... Um, it's just an iconic image, really, a knight, you know, on horseback. Because I like working with him, and um, visually he came up with uh, covers that, that went with my lyrics, you know, and the, and the, and the process. Um, you know, we went back to him on quite a few albums, actually, uh, I mean, right up to the, to the most recent ones. So, um, you know, we have a great relationship together. But, yeah, most of the time he's usually bang on, and... You know, one of the albums, uh, Rock the Nations, I think that wasn't really my idea, it was the manager's idea to have a huge cave, a uh, huge cavern, yeah. But yeah, this huge valley uh, with um, all the fans of all the nations uh, in there and the eagle at the end of it. And presumably there's a stage underneath somewhere where we're playing, but um, that would be a great gig, huh? It would. To be honest, it... At that stage, it's not about the fans. It's about what me and Paul think, and it's about what I think of whether the cover portrays the song or the album. You know, we have some album covers that there's no song title. Uh, it's just the title of an album. 
Um, I like the, you know, I like the Heavy Metal Thunder album, uh, which is the, which is the Warrior on the Horse. Um, we did that quite close mm -hmm. together. Um, it's in a Frank Frazetta style, um, and I think that's what drew me to Paul in, in the early days because he has that Frank Frazetta. He's not quite so. Um, he's not quite so. Uh, you know, he hasn't got so many sort of. Uh, warrior women in his in his pictures but it has it is still has that sort of style to it um so the heavy metal thunder album cover is more frazetta like than uh, usually what paul does uh, so i like that one uh, the new one sacrifice is great you know um again it's it's about the mayan uh, human sacrifice and uh, you know i didn't want it to be all blood and guts you know we're not a we're not a hardcore band so um yeah, I mean it's great. It's great that cover's great. Um, it's you know it's the Mayan calendar, but interpreted differently, uh, with different things in it. So he's great at that. You know, the fine detail is fantastic. You know, he spends hours and hours on it. Well, we have, the thing is with Saxon, we have a wide-ranging uh, style of, of, of music and lyrics on our albums. I mean, one minute we're singing about waiting in a queue. And then the next minute we're singing about hacking people's heads off and pulling their hearts out, bill beating. So, you know, it, we're a fantastic band to, to, to do artwork for because, you know, we can, we have multiple lyrics. I mean, we have a lot of battle lyrics, what we call battle lyrics, because obviously that interests me. And uh, we have a lot of fantasy stuff as well. But, I mean, I suppose fan, fan, uh, things like Sacrifice are, are sort of historic, but they're also the fantasy as well. You know, it's all that Mayan thing, you know, it's all like fantastic stuff to look at and uh, I think Paul is a great artist for our genre you know I mean he doesn't do a lot of bands I mean he does there's a few bands he doesn't do many um, but most of the ones he've done are, are, are good but I think the one, ones he's done for us are absolutely fantastic he just gives us that extra few you know extra few days work extra bit of you know the thing is with us, it's all about the songwriting and um, writing songs that are uniquely Saxon. I think we went through a patch where we weren't uniquely Saxon. We were uniquely somebody else, but not Saxon. Uh, but you know, I think a lot of bands went through that period uh, of, of uh, you know, not fucking knowing who you were, you know, and where, where, your, where your strengths lie. And, um, yeah, we've moved back to that in the last 10 years. We've moved back to a more, um, more sort of uh, um, organic way of writing. You know, we use less machinery now. I mean, obviously, we use digital machinery all the time. I mean, it's fantastic. We, we, of all the bands, the bands of the 80s are the bands that have grown up through the digital revolution. I mean, we're not, uh, you know, we're not analog uh, junkies. You know, we use Pro Tools, we use everything. We've got the new Pro Tools already, the circle with the van down the middle. So we're really active in, in technology. But having said that, songwriting for us has to be a sort of passionate uh, thing that we get involved with. And uh, creating, you know, it's like creating something special, unique to us, really. And that's what we're into, and that's what we, uh, that's what we try strive for on every album. Um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, you know. Uh, but the, the, ultimately, it's the fans that make that decision. I think, you know, what's happening in music, when, when a huge when a huge movement comes along, you know, like uh, new metal, it does, have, it does influence us, you know. I mean, you know, we influence Metallica, Metallica influenced us, you know. It, it, that's how it goes, music. You know, it, it goes around and around and, uh, you know, no doubt... When we've gone, you know, it'll all die off and then some other bands will come up, you know, with playing rock music and, you know, whether it's a Zeppelin-ish thing or a Saxon-ish thing or... So rock music is there in people's DNA. It is. It always will be.